y'all. Welcome to Not Sure What's Cooking. Cook, cooking. Well, cooking. Yeah, that word. Well, anyway, we are going to make a peach cobbler pizza. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's not good or anything. But it's not really a pizza. It's going to be shaped like a pizza. So what we're going to need is we're going to need cinnamon, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, one cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of white uh, flour, three packages of instant maple brown sugar instant oatmeal, three of them, a quarter of a cup of white sugar, a quarter of a stick of butter cut in little bitty cubes like this, one can of uh, peach pie filling, and then one can of peaches drained. Make sure you drain them because we don't want this to be soggy. And then we're gonna need a one tube of 16.5 ounce of a sugar cookie. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this on the pan just a little bit, okay? Some olive oil. And I'm going to take my paper towel and just kind of rub it in and up on the top. Now, you don't want a lot of it on here because you don't want the cookie dough to get kind of soggy or whatever. But you just wipe it in there. And this is only to prevent it from not sticking. And actually, this is, I've used this pan one time and it's cracking already. But anyway... Gonna take the cookie dough. If I can get it out of here. Alright. And then we're gonna just press it down all the way around. Okay, you guys, you see that the cookie dough is all flat in the pizza pan right here. Okay. Now, while you're doing this, make sure you preheat your oven to 350 and get it real smooth and everything and kind of put some up on the side. That's not really a big deal, but try to do that. Okay, and then I've got my canned peaches right here. I'm going to add, well, that was my canned peaches, but this is the pie filling. So I'm adding all of it together here. Okay, and just mix it around a little bit. Okay, now you see my brown sugar. I'm gonna put the white sugar in here, the flour, and the three packages of instant oatmeal. And I like using the instant because it has a, 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 a flavor to it. So you don't have to use a whole bunch of brown sugar or anything like that. I just like it better. You can use whatever you think. All right, then I'm going to put some cinnamon in the peaches and just very, very little bit of nutmeg, which I don't have this open. Oh yeah, I do. All right, so just kind of put just a little bit for flavor. All right, and then just stir that around while we're waiting on this. And just kind of mix it up good enough where um, the cinnamon and the nutmeg is in there with it. You know, whatever. Oh, and in my videos, we don't um, take out any bloopers, so the way you see it is the way it is. All right, so anyway, start doing all this with the brown sugar and the flour and the oatmeal and the white sugar. And just mix it all up. And then you're going to take the butter, the little cubes, and just kind of start squishing it in there. It's really hard to do with a spoon or anything like that. So you're gonna get your hands messy, but you're gonna be so happy with the end result. I mean, this is so giddy, giddy. <laughs> what a word, huh? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, it is. It's really, really good. 
and it's a good summer dessert. It's a good Christmas dessert, a good party dessert. It's just fun to make. And make sure you got enough room because you're gonna make a little mess here, all right? Now, I probably made a little bit more than I needed on this, but I'd rather have more and cover it real good than not have enough. And it's okay, because you could actually put this, you know, use this for something else. All right, now I've got that mixed up, okay? Now I'm gonna take the peaches and we're gonna put it on the cookie dough. And you're just gonna spread it evenly. Try to get all that good, good stuff out of the bowl on it. Okay, and then just spread evenly over the cookie dough or pizza, whatever you wanna call it. It's a, actually it's a um, peach cobbler pizza is what it's called, so. All right, and see how evenly that is? I mean, it's pretty even. All right, then you're gonna wanna take this good stuff right here and just start spreading it. And like I said, you're gonna make the best here. And just, I mean, just cover it. And what chef don't make a mess? What cook doesn't make a mess, you know? And just cover it, like, quite a bit. I mean, it's like you're drowning it in it, okay? All right, now I am going to put this in the oven for about 25 minutes on 350 in my preheated oven, and I'll be right back. Hey, you guys, okay. I baked this for 25 minutes. Now, your oven might be different than mine, but how to tell that it's done is that it's kind of brown on top and the crust from the cookie dough is brown. And that's how you're gonna be able to tell if it's done. Because like I said, you know, different ovens are different. Now, after you take it out of the oven, you wanna set it on a rack for about 25 minutes and let it cool down. I mean, it doesn't have to be cooled too much, but you want it cooled down enough so whenever you do uh, cut it, I just cut a piece of it, but whenever you do cut it with the pizza cutter, that it doesn't come out and fall all to pieces. But if it does, it's no problem. It's still gonna taste good. So let me see if I can get a piece out of here. I'm gonna cut another one here. All right. Whoop, some of it fell apart, but that's okay. All right. Now look at that, look how good this looks. Mmm, look at all those peaches and all the stuff on top. Mmm, mmm, delicious. This is a really good recipe to try. I think you'll really like it and it's something different than the same old thing. And you can make this anytime. You can make it during the summer, Christmas, Thanksgiving anytime, or just every week. But I think you're really gonna like this. And I appreciate you watching my video, and please subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I do uh, bring up another video. And also hit that like button, and please share, share, share please, because it really helps my channel to grow and for me to keep doing this. Well, I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time, be blessed and safe. Thank you.